Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Um, my name is Carol. We have 60 minutes of vinyasa. And um, I always encourage people to turn their videos on. Obviously, you don't have to, but um, I love to see you guys and for all of us to kind of practice together that way. So, um, yeah, if you'd like to do that. And then we'll just start in a simple seated position today. So just anything that is comfortable for you. You can cross the legs or sit on the knees. I'm just beginning to lengthen the spine. So starting to sit up really tall. Allow the eyes to close or gaze is soft. And then just gently, slowly start to bring awareness towards the breath. Not forcing anything, just simply becoming aware. Maybe beginning to feel the belly expand on the inhalations. And feeling the navel gently draw back to the spine on the exhalations. Just continuing to notice that pattern. Just beginning to feel the body breathe. We'll start with a pranayama practice today. So doing some breathing exercises. We'll begin with the bastrika. So this is a forceful inhalation and a forceful exhalation. You should feel the belly pumping through this. And it's more of a slow breath. So it sounds something like this. So we'll do that 10 times. This just starts to spark up our digestive, um, the energy in the body, moving the digestive system. It also kind of um, tones the abdomen as well. So again, it just brings the energy to the body. So we'll take a deep inhale. And then beginning on the exhale for 10 rounds. Completely exhale on that last one. Inhale completely. Hold the breath at the top, Kumbhakta. And then drop the chin to the chest for Jalandhara Bandha as you hold the breath. So you start to become this container or this vessel for prana within the body. And you can no longer comfortably hold the breath, lift the chin and exhale through the nose. You might notice any ten tingling sensation in the body and then just try to remain still. So, so often we want to get ready to move. As my teacher describes that we want to be a sponge for this prana. We'll do that one more time. Again, take a deep inhale. And beginning on the exhale. Exhale completely. And then inhale completely. Hold the breath at the top, Kumbhakta. Drop the chin to the chest for Jalandhara Bandha. And again, you just feel and notice the energy, the prana holding inside the body. Lift the chin when you're ready and exhale through the nose. Again, try to remain still. And then the final one we'll do right now is Kapalbhati. So this is called skull shining. So it brings this nice like vibrancy to our skin. And again, also just continuing to pump that fire inside the belly, warming the body up and building all of this energy for practice. So this is very similar to Bastrika, except our exhalation is forceful and the inhalation is more passive. So it just happens naturally. All right, so we'll take a deep inhale. Exhale a little bit. And then beginning, this is a little bit quicker. I'll do 54, sorry I didn't say that. And inhale completely. 
Hold the breath, Kumbhakta. Drop the chin, Jalandhara Bandha. And then pelvic floor muscles draw in and up for Mula Bandha. Feel the energy. Lift the chin when you're ready. Exhale through the nose. Again, remaining still. So we're drawing all this prana into the body, supporting our body for practice and the rest of our day. Remaining as still as you can so everything soaks up. We'll do that one more time. Take a deep inhale. Exhale just a little bit. And then beginning on the exhale. Sure you exhale completely. Inhale completely. Try to sip in a little bit more air. Hold the breath, Kumbhakta. Drop the chin, Jalandhara Bandha. And then Mula Bandha, pelvic floor muscle draws in and up. Try to feel the energy and move it down through the hips, the pelvis. So wherever your awareness, your focus goes, energy and prana follows that. When you're ready, lift the chin and exhale through the nose. Return back to the natural breath as you remain still. Be aware of any sensation. Maybe you feel a little bit more energized, a little bit more awake, I hope. We'll bring hands to heart center. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to focus or concentrate on. Maybe you dedicate this practice to someone or something. Take a deep inhale, seal that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Opening the eyes, slowly start to make your way into tabletop position. If you wanna play music, feel free to put that on now. So finding tabletop, feeling the shoulders over the wrists, spread the fingers wide. On the inhale, find cow, lower the belly, lift the gaze. On your exhale, gently tuck the chin, bring the hips back towards the heels, forehead to the mat, kind of like a child's pose. Again, inhale to come back through, find cow, lower the belly, lift the chest and the head. Exhale, press back, hips to heels, forehead comes down. And then just continuing with that at your own pace. I'm just finding a few more rounds. If it helps, maybe you inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of five. Finding that ujjayi breathing, if you haven't done so yet, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, lightly constrict the muscles at the back of the throat as you find an audible ocean sounding breath. Deep, free breathing, find a couple more rounds. And then on your next exhale, no rush, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and press back to down dog. First time here, maybe walk it out, shake it out. Maybe the head gently goes side to side. So you start to find that upside down V-shape of the body. As you're ready to find stillness, start to melt the heels to the floor. Untuck the tailbone, lift the hips to the sky. Feel the spine get even longer and stronger. Shoulders come away from the ears and down the back. Drishti gazes all the way to your navel. And try to find as much stillness as you can. Beginning to find Mula Bandha, pelvic floor muscles draw in and up, creating a sensation of grounding and stability. Uddiyana Bandha, two inches below the navel, draws in and up, creating a sensation of lightness and freedom. So we try to keep these Bandhas throughout the entire practice to preserve our energy. They also protect the body inside out. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Feel the shoulders come over the wrists. Press the floor away. Energy through the crown and the head and the heels. Start to engage the traps. Feel the pressure come off of the wrists. Exhale, down dog. Lead with the hips. Press back. Again, inhale. Shift high up onto the toes. Come forward to plank like a wave in the chest. 
Settling in on that exhale. Energy through the crown of the head and the heels. Navel draws in and up. Traps engaged. Press the floor away. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, turbo dog. Shins hover above the floor. Press the chest back to the thighs. Good, shins are hovering even more. Core is engaged. Shift the gaze between the thumbs. Inhale, plank. Keep the head and chest lifted. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor for your chaturanga. Elbows straight back, hug the body. Untuck the toes. Inhale, little baby cobra. Take a small back bend. Shoulders melt down the back. Exhale, lower forehead to mat. Again, inhale, little baby cobra. Maybe this time explore with hovering your hands, but don't let the feet lift. Exhale, lower forehead to mat. Inhale, lift back up, baby cobra. So you're really active in the lower body. Maybe lift a little higher, try to hover the hands again. Hold for the exhale. Inhale. Lift higher, bring your hands out to kind of a T or a cactus. On the exhale, come onto the finger trips, tips, and drop the right shoulder down, look over your left shoulder. Chest can be high or low. Inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder down, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back through center. On that inhale, lift the hands back to hover towards the chest. Hold through the exhale, feel the back strong. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Tuck the toes, engage the core. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog, press back, three breaths. Heels to floor, hips to sky, shoulders soften. The breath is strong, supporting all of this practice. Inhale, come high up onto the toes. Shift the gaze between the thumbs. Slowly tippy toe your way to the top of the mat. Try to take tiny, tiny little steps, just moving maybe like an inch at the time. Feel the shoulders come over the wrist. Bend the knees if needed. At the top, take rag doll. Feet are hip distance apart. Deepen in the knees. Take opposite elbows. Allow the body to just hang. Try not to resist this posture. Just literally letting go as you melt into it. There should be no tension in the body. Feel free to find movement or stillness for a couple more rounds. Gently release your bind. Heel toe the feet to touch, halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. Hollow the belly, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise to the top of the mat. Maybe take a little back bend at the top. Exhale, hinge and fold. Uttanasana, forehead towards shins. Halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. Maybe press into the palms. Step back through plank as you continue to inhale. Head and chest lifted. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Inhale, press the floor away. Spill the head back. Down dog. Exhale, lift the hips. Press back. Three breaths. Come into stillness as soon as you can. So we try to resist the urge to fidget, to move. Think about it as reserving your energy for the rest of practice. Bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float, top of the mat and halfway lift. Hollow the belly, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, reach and rise. Maybe palms touch at the top, look to the thumbs. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, forehead to shins. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back, press into the palms. Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. Here the inhale, up dog. Here the exhale, down dog, three breaths. Last one, bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float, top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, palms touch, look thumbs, little back bend. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. Here the inhale, up dog, spill the head back. Here the exhale, down dog, three breaths. If legs are straight, try to engage the quads and lift the kneecaps to the pelvis here. Step the feet together to touch. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Square the hips off, try to straighten the legs, find circles with your right ankle. Moving one way and then the other. Lift the heel a little bit higher on the inhale. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, three point. Exhale, twist and mountain climber, left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, right tricep higher than your elbow. Inhale, three point. Exhale, bend the knee, peel the hip open. Option to stay or find circles. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Find circles with the left ankle. Hips are square, legs are straight, going one way and then the other. Navel drawing to the back of the body. Lift the heel a little bit higher in the inhale. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, third point. Exhale, twist and mountain climber, right tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, bend the knee, peel the hip open, find circles or stillness. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come high up onto the tips, shift the gaze forward, tiny, tiny steps to the top. Moving an inch at a time, feel the shoulders and upper body strength working. Halfway lift, inhale, feet stay hip distance apart. Bend the knees on the exhale, interlace the hands behind the back and reach the arms up and over. Give yourself permission to soften and let go here. And a couple more rounds of breath. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Gently release your bind. Bend the knees and inhale to chair pose. Good, hands come straight overhead. Draw the navel to the back of the body. So warming up the spine and the back. Good, make sure navel's to the spine the entire time to protect the low back. On the exhale, hinge halfway, think chest to thighs. Hips to the back of the room, chin is tucked and crown of the head to the front of the room. Shoulders in line with ears, thumbs in line with shoulders. Inhale, lift back up, chair. Again, exhale, hinge halfway. Pull through the inhale, get a little bit longer. Pull through the exhale, find stability. Inhale, rise. Go one more time, exhale, hinge halfway. Good, maybe sink lower. Pull through the inhale, feel the spine get longer. Pull through the exhale, find stability and strength. Inhale, rise, chair. Exhale, Tadasana, hands come by your side. Take a moment to feel the energy moving up and down the spine. Bring your awareness there. Again, where focus or awareness goes, energy follows. Heel toe the feet together to touch. Bend the knees, graze the ground chair, pose Utkatasana, try to bring the palms to touch and look to the thumbs. Straighten arms and elbows, shoulders down the back, weight in the heels, two more breaths. Exhale, fold Uttanasana, forehead to shins, press the floor away, use your ab strength. Halfway lift, inhale, press into your palms, don't let them lift. Exhale, chaturanga, keep pressing to the palms as you float back, lay with bent elbows. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right side, warrior one, without lifting the leg, step the foot through. Back foot spins to 45, palms touch. Look to the thumbs and hold. Return to square the hips off. 
Deep bend in the front knee, try to look to the lifted hands. On your next exhale, take your vinyasa or step right back to down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Engage the core, step it all the way through. Palms touch, look thumbs. Square the hips and shoulders off, deep bend in the front knee. And exhale, take your flow. Or right to down dog. One breath per movement, inhale, right side, warrior one. On your exhale, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga or down dog. One more time each side, inhale, right side, warrior one. Exhale, take your vinyasa or skip. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Take your vinyasa, right to down dog, and then hold your down dog. Same thing here, trying not to fidget or move. When the body moves, the mind gets distracted. So we want to limit all of those distractions and keep the mind quiet and stable. The stronger the body, the more still, the quieter the mind. Inhale, Malasana, Yogi Squat. Separate, float the feet up. Heels in, toes out. If you have access to a block, feel free to sit on that here. And then try to sit up tall. Length come through the crown of the head. And maybe pressing palms together. And keep feeling pubic bones towards the floor. And then option to try to squeeze your knees in towards your elbows and feel the adductors, the inner thighs firing up. So if you're in the practice of Vakasana Crow Pose, this is a really good practice. It's just squeezing the knees together. Good. So really into the elbows and then you give a little bit of resistance back with the elbows. So you should be shaking here. You should really feel this. And press the palm, or palms to the mat, lift the hips. Heel toe feet, hip distance apart. Peace fingers, catch your big toes, patting Bhustasana. Inhale, lift your head and chest until arms and elbows are straight. Hinge at the hips, hollow the belly and fold. Elbows bent to side walls, rib cage to thighs. One day, forehead between your shins. Try to keep the gaze at the nose tip. And then again, use your abdomen strength to fold a little bit deeper so it's not just flexibility. Keep the bind, inhale, lift the head of the chest until your arms and elbows are straight, head is lifted, exhale there. Inhale, step on the hands, padahastasana, toes touch your wrist. Again, hollow belly, exhale, fold. Knees can be bent if needed, one day effort to be straight. Same thing, rib cage to thighs, forehead between the shins. Allow the shoulders to soften down your back. Inhale, lift the head and the chest, continue to step on the hands. Without folding, just exhale. Inhale, Bakasana Crow Pose, flip your hands forward. If not in your practice, come back to Malasana. Try to keep your feet together and heels touching. Spread the fingers wide, lift high on the toes. Knees coming towards the triceps, elbows go straight back and then out to the side. This helps you to engage the traps and then lift up. So if the elbows go out to the side, you lose all of that engagement, it's gonna be a lot harder to hold. Heels stay touching. One day, work on straightening arms and elbows as you lift the hips even higher. Wherever you are for five, four, maybe lift higher, three, two, one. Exhale, chaturanga, float or step it back. 
Knee back and down dog. Inhale, right side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. We pass the right middle finger deep in the front knee. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh. Extend left arm up and over. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, full side angle or your fullest expression. Maybe hand pinky toe side. Extend the left arm up and over. On the exhales, you sink lower. On the inhales, you spin the chest to the sky. Inhale, side, plank, vashikasana, left hand down. Stack the right side of the body. You can lower a knee or lift a leg. Try to bring your gaze to the lifted hand. Exhale, chaturanga, or right to down dock. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Deep in the front knee, look past the left middle finger. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle. Right arm up and over the ear. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle. Spin the right shoulder behind the ear so you work on opening the chest to the sky. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale to, exhale to your fullest side angle. Maybe left hand, pinky toe side, right arm up and over, look to the lifted hand. And then again, exhale as you sink lower. Inhale, spin the right shoulder back, spin the chest to the sky. Inhale, side plank, right hand down. Left arm rises, Vashisasana. Maybe gaze to lifted hand. Exhale, take your flow. All right, to down dog. Inhale, right side, warrior one. Spin the back foot to 45, maybe palm touch, look thumbs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, maybe this time working a bind or a different expression. Right arm can come under the thigh, left arm up and over. You can easily cut your fingers. Next, take your wrist, spin the chest to the sky. Inhale, side plank, left hand down, right arm rises. Pull through the exhale. Switch sides, inhale, right hand down, left arm rises, side plank. On your inhale, high crescent, left knee comes to the chest, spin it forward, hands reach up and over the head. So left leg is forward. Exhale, prayer twist, hands to heart center, right forearm outside the thigh. Inhale, warrior two. On the exhale, sink lower. Straighten the front leg, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana triangle, left hand down. Right arm rises, lean the upper body back. Look to the lifted hand. Shoulders track down the back. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high to sky. Ride the exhale, chaturanga. Lower the foot, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left side, warrior one. 
Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, maybe a bind. Left hand comes in and under left thigh. Try to get it to the upper part of the back, right arm up and over. Left hand catches right wrist and the chest open. Inhale, side plank. Right hand down, left arm rises. Pull through the exhale. Inhale, left hand down, right arm rises. Find control through the transitions. Gently inhale the right knee to the chest. Step it forward, high press and use control of the core. Press through the feet, reach and rise. Exhale, prayer twist. Press palms together, shoulders stack. Try to get your left rib cage outside, right thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, straighten, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana triangle, right hand down. Left arm rises, lean the upper body back, so think crown of the head in line with the right big toe. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg high to the sky. Rise the exhale, chaturanga. Lower the foot, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Last time through, inhale, right side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, your expression. Maybe you work that bind again. Maybe hand the floor, option for bird of paradise. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, side plank. Left hand on option, catch your right big toe. Lift the leg to the sky, lift to the lifted hand. If you have the foot, exhale to release it. Just find side plank. Switch sides, right hand down, inhale, left arm rises. Maybe this time just lift the leg to the sky and find star. Inhale, high crescent, left leg forward. Reach and rise. Exhale to that prayer twist, hands to heart center, right forearm outside the thigh. Option to work a bind, right arm under. Maybe just open up the arms. Wherever you are, still rotating chest to sky. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, trikonasana. Then maybe this time, catch the big toe. You have a different expression. Inhale, three like a dog, left leg high. Exhale, fall in star, extend the leg to the right, right arm rises. Inhale, three like a dog. And exhale, bend the knee, option to stay or flip your dog, feet parallel to the back of the room. Lift the hips, let the heart open. Take an inhale, exhale, down dog. Good. Still going, inhale, right side, high crescent. Exhale, twist, left hand to the floor, right arm rises. Inhale, half moon, right hand down, left side of the body rises. Try to lift the heel higher to the sky, maybe look to the lifted hand. Exhale, standing splits, fold over right leg, left toes high to sky. Forehead or chin finds the shin. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, reach the hands overhead. 
Exhale, twist to the left, right forearm outside the thigh. Option side crow. Option to open up your arms. If you take that, try to catch your right ankle, or left ankle, I'm sorry. So right hand to left ankle. Look to the lifted hand. Whoever you are for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale back through center. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Float or step it back. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, side angle, your expression. And maybe bird of paradise. Here for five, four, three, two, one side plank, inhale, right hand down, option, catch your left big toe. Lift the leg to the sky. If you fall, keep trying, come back in. Exhale, just release that leg and left hand on your hip. Lower left hand down, switch side, side plank, right arm rises, option to lift the right leg to the sky. Inhale, high crescent, right leg steps forward. Exhale, prayer twist, left forearm outside the thigh. Option to open up the arms. Maybe go for the bind. Think about again, getting that left rib cage outside right thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, Trikonasana, whatever expression you take. Inhale, three legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, twist and mountain climber, extend the leg, fall in star. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stay or flip your dog. Both feet parallel to the back of the room, lift the hips. Hold through the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high crescent, left leg forward. Exhale, easy twist, right hand down, left arm rises. Inhale, half moon. Left hand down, right side of the body rises. Exhale, standing splits. Inhale, chair pose. Big toes touch, bend the knees. Exhale, twist to the right. Option, open up the arms or side curl. If you open up, try to close the gap between the underarm and the knee. Left hand catches the inside of your right foot. Look to the lifted right hand. Inhale, chair, hands at heart center. Hold through the exhale. Squeeze in your thighs, inhale, lift high on the toes. Mean in Navasana, boat pose. Good, so option, knees can be bent, feet are flexed. Maybe bring your hands behind your back if needed. If you don't need that, hands come straight out in front. Option to straighten the legs. Good, here for five. Four, try to broaden through the collarbones. Three. Two. One, exhale, canoe. Press the low back, feet lift, inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe. 
Navel to the back of the body. Inhale, Navasana. On your exhale, cross the right shin over the left and hug the knees to the chest, get as small as you can. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, left over right, hug the knees to the chest. Hold, inhale, Navasana. Exhale, right over left. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, left over right, hug the knees in. One more each side, inhale. Exhale, right over left. Inhale. Exhale, left over right. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe, hold. Feet are flexed, shoulders lift, look to your toes. Press the palms together, bring awareness there. Holding, feel the navel draw to the back of the body, be still. Feel the body shake, feel the body breathe. Three more breaths. Release, inhale. Point the toes, bring the hands overhead, stretch out tall. Exhale, gently draw the knees to the chest. Inhale, prep for bridge. Feet to the floor, hands by your side. Exhale there. Inhale, light, uh, right into it. So maybe you find a little bit of endurance and stamina as you move right through. Try to squeeze in our thighs together. Keep pressing to the feet. If you have more space, you can interlace the hands underneath and roll the shoulders under the body. Exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide, soup to Baddha Konasana. Allow everything to relax. Second round, bridge your wheel, inhale, prep your hands and feet. Just exhale there. And then inhale, lift up, bridge your wheel. Good, really press to the feet, feel strength of the lower body. And the breath supports this posture and calms the nervous system. So try to find the deep, free breathing, best breath yet. Exhale, down one vertebrae at a time. Let the knees come together, feet come out about mass distance apart, gently press to the low back. Third and final, bridge your wheel. Inhale, prep your hands and feet. Exhale there. And then inhale, lifting up, best breath yet, no expectations. Here for five, round down through the feet. Four, soften up the heart, the chest finds more space. Three, maybe walk hands closer to feet and wheel. Two, one, tuck the chin from wheel. Exhale, lower down. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Maybe one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. As you slow the breath up, back down. Try to be grateful for three things in your life today. Take a deep inhale, seal that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Place the hands under the knees, gently draw them together and towards the chest. Give yourself a little hug. And then one vertebrae at a time, we're just slowly rock up and down the spine, maybe taking that a couple times. Just massage out, might feel good. Coming all the way up to a seat. Good, and then finding double pigeon. So left shin will be at the bottom, right shin on top. Both feet are flexed. You can kind of wiggle the hip bones back. Kind of move any fleshy part away so you can tilt the pelvis a little bit more. If you need to place a bolster um, or a pillow, anything under here, you can if this knee feels like it's way up. 
You can also take half as well if this is too intense. All right, so option is stay here. So you probably feel this through mostly that left IT band, the outer part of the hip. Option to take opposite elbows behind your back and try not to grab your forearms, but really try to grab your elbows. So maybe you kind of wiggle, wiggle. So you open up the shoulders here and then you also build some strength as you continue to hold here because your hands are gonna to wanna to slide. So really hold the opposite elbows. You can kind of see how I have each side. So lengthen on your inhale. You can stay here or if you want more, exhale, hinge and fold. Your sits bones will come off the floor, that's totally fine. Try to get the chest over the thighs and then see if the forehead can meet the floor. You can also place the forehead on a block. And just kind of let it hang freely. Keep the bond as active and the breath strong. And then remember that prana and energy moves wherever your awareness goes. If you need this through the hips, if you want to move out any stagnant energy, bring the awareness there and let that energy, that prana flow through. Maybe you need it in the lower back or you need it during around the heart or the chest. And so energy moves where awareness goes. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale there. And take another inhale. On your exhale, transitioning into a seated twist, Ardha Matsandrasana, right foot comes outside the bent left knee. Try to point your left toes as you bring them back to the hip and then bring this right hip down to the floor. And now bring your ankle in line with your knee, so right ankle in line with left knee. Okay, right hand comes behind your back. We're gonna come into a deeper expression. And so first, just bring your forearm outside with that. I can't see you guys, so I'm going to hope that you do this with me. So on the inhale, lengthen, and then think about getting this left rib cage outside the right thigh, and then fold forward. So take a couple of those. Inhale, lengthen, work this rib cage outside the thigh, and then fold forward. So we're trying to close the gap between the underarm and the knee. And then this right arm comes straight out and catches the inside of my left foot, so where the big toe is or the arch. Good. Now stay there. Sit up top. Right hand comes and takes your left hip. Okay, now just do the best that you can. Again, I'm hoping that you try this. Point the left toes, every inhale lengthen, every exhale twist. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just bring your attention there. Try to find and create new space. You want to allow yourself to surrender until so you find that effort and then find that ease. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, unravel. Good. Inhale, to come back through center. And then just switching sides, you'll bring that right shin down. Left shin on top, flex the feet again, kind of wiggle the hips back. Move any fleshy part away, so you want to be able to tilt the pelvis forward more. So you could even sit on a blanket here, roll the mat up. Good, so try to get those shins in line. Feet are flexed, we sit up tall. So feel this length, allow everything to open and then taking opposite elbows behind the back. And then again, maybe you wiggle, wiggle. Maybe it takes you a little bit of time and space to get there, that's okay. Maybe you work the hands higher up towards the shoulders. And again, lengthen on the inhale, activate the bandhas. Exhale, hinge and fold. Good, so the sits bones will come off the mat a little bit. Work the rib cage outside your shin and then relax the forehead down. So you might be able to see better the bind I have on the back here. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale there. Take another inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Ardha Matsandrasana. Step your left foot outside the bent right knee and then bring this right heel back by the sits bone. Draw this right hip down so hips are even. Point your left toes, I know it's a lot of steps. 
Bring right, left ankle and above in line with your right knee. So one day you don't even have to think about it, it just happens like this. So we take those little steps until we get there. And so inhale, you lengthen. And then again, on that inhale, work this right, right rib cage outside left thigh and then fold forward a little bit. Inhale, lengthen, get the rib cage outside the thigh. So the navel draws in and up and then fold forward. And then hold that space. Try to take the inside of your left foot. So big toe side where the arches. Sit up really, really tall. Left hand takes your right hip. Lengthen on the inhales, twist on the exhales. So this also gives you a really good stretch through the forearm and the wrist that we don't really get to a lot. If that feels really tight, it's probably a good thing. Not a good thing, but a good thing that you feel it. <laughs> so inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, twist deeper. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, unravel. Good, come back through center. Inhale, both feet come straight out in front. And then flex your feet, bring your hands by your side for Dandasana. So press the floor away, palms are flat. And then if you can, if you're not super tight in the hips, tight, try to lift your heels off the floor. And as you do so, your quads fire up. So they should be really strong here. Press the floor away, start to lift your chest and chin gently drops down. So your legs might be shaking here, mine are a little bit. So again, those are always good signs. Good, now keep this length in the spine. On the inhale, catch your big toes. If not possible, catch shins. If the heels need to lower from here, that's fine too. So that's your inhale. Lengthen, lengthen, exhale, fold. Maybe the heels come down, but keep the activation in the legs. If you wanna go deeper too, you can interlace the hands around your feet or even catch your wrist. Keeping the lower body active, try to relax the upper body. Letting the forehead come down towards the shins. Feel the shoulders track and soften down the back. So, so often we hunch so think about taking that opposite motion. And if you are someone that hunches a lot, work on bringing your chin towards the shins instead. And find a couple more rounds of breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Without folding, just exhale. Inhale, sit up all the way. We're gonna close with a breathing exercise. And we'll move into um, our final couple postures and Shavasana. So you can just take a nice simple seat. Good, Nani Shodana. So left hand, you'll find chin mudra, index finger to thumb, other three fingers straight, arms and elbows straight. Right hand, you'll bring the index finger and the middle finger in for Vishnu mudra. So we'll be using our thumb and our ring finger. Good, so sit up really, really tall. Again, you wanna find this optimal space for the organs, the lungs, the rib cage to breathe. At first, just exhale through the mouth. Close the right nostril and inhale through the left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. And that's one round, we'll keep going. Inhale left. Think about this inhale being healing and nourishing to your body. Exhale right. The exhale brings balance back to the body. Inhale right. Healing, nourishing, rejuvenating. Exhale left, restoring balance. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. 
Last round, we'll add in a breath retention on the top of the inhale. Inhale, left. Gently close both nostrils, kumbhakta, breath retention, and then drop the chin to the chest, jalandhara bandha, mula bandha active, pelvic floor muscles in and up. Lift the chin, exhale right. Inhale right. Gently close both nostrils, Piraka Kumbhakta. Drop the chin, Jalandhara Bandha. Pelvic floor muscles in and up, Mula Bandha, hold. Lift the chin, exhale left. Lower the right hand, return to your natural breath. So again, we allow our bodies to be this vessel for prana. And then we think about our bodies being this pranic sponge as we draw everything in, as my teacher says. So we try to keep the body still so we can fully absorb all of the prana into the body. Nadi Shodana, you can do any time, any part of the day. And most importantly, this breath allows us to clear out the nadis or the energy channels in the body. So this energy that gets stuck and builds up as tension, we try to clean that out. They're like little barriers that we find. So we use this movement, this prana, to kind of flush out that tension. So we allow the prana to move out through the entire body. And we find more of that sense of freedom, right? That ultimate feeling that we really want to get to, that moksha. When you're ready, you can slowly maybe spin yourself around and then lie down, setting up for Shavasana, final rest. You can also do legs up the wall today since we didn't do an inversion and use that for your final rest if you have a wall close by. I might go a couple minutes over, but not too far over. Good. So just settle in. Whatever expression you take, allow your body to be still. Let go of any controlled breathing. Allow the mind to stay present for a few more moments. Letting go of any thoughts of the past or the future. We use this time to recharge, to rejuvenate, to draw in all of the benefits from our practice. So the next few moments as you're here, allow yourself to really have gratitude for this time. And just allowing yourself to be here.
Allow your breath to deepen. Sending prana throughout the body, your breath, life force, energy. Bring awareness back to the body, making small movements, wiggle fingers and toes, circles to the wrist and the ankle. Draw the knees in towards the chest, make way to right side, using right arm as a pillow. And just taking a moment to reset, renew. Allow yourself to recharge for the rest of your day. Slowly coming up to a simple seat, bring the hands to the heart center, Anjali Mudra. We'll close our practice with the universal sound of Om. Take a deep inhale. Thumb knuckles move to the third eye between the eyebrows. Take a slight bow. Thank you for letting me guide you through your practice and for sharing your energy with me. The divine light in me 